Hello and welcome back to another Roblox Studio video. And in today's video, I teach you on the brand new feature that Roblox has just added into Roblox Studio called Assistant, okay? An Assistant, you can kind of think as the chat GPT made and primarily designed for Roblox Studio, okay? So to enable it, we'll go over that in a bit, but let's... So let's just show you guys how it works, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on a brand new button that has been loaded up here. And then we're going to open up the assistant. As you can see, I've already asked it some questions, but it can do some super cool stuff. So let's just install a part and move it over here. And then we're going to select this part. We're going to open up our assistant and we're going to say to our assistant, um, let's or please or no, make this part be rainbow colored. And then we're going to press enter and the AI is going to process. And then what it's going to do is run a couple of things. Okay, so I don't know if it has quite got the memo there. Creating a variance of plastic described as vibrant. Okay, so I believe there is a material thing. So let's just... Oh, see, so yeah. So it hasn't done exactly what we've wanted here. What it's done is created a texture. So it's really important, and this is a lesson to you as well as me, to make sure you have really specific prompts. Using code, make this part change rainbow color and now let's give it a whirl so the AI is going to process and it's gonna whirl a little bit and then finally is going to create the script and you can see I've attached rainbow underscore script into part and you can see there's our rainbow script so now let's click on play and see if this works let's drag this to the side and as you can see there is our part changing colors like a smooth rainbow that is so cool now, let's just go over how you can enable this inside of your own Roblox Studio. Okay, so here we are inside of a studio that does not have the assistant enabled. So enable it, click on file, then click on beta features, and let's always make this tab a bit bigger because it's always so small, I don't know why. And we're going to scroll down until we see assistant preview, we're going to click on this checkbox, and then we're going to click save, and then restart. Then you can restart your game according to how you want to do it. And then here we are booting back up into Roblox Studio. Now you can see our super duper assistant button has been introduced. So there's a couple of questions we can ask our assistant, okay? So kind of think of it as a useful AI. Now if it does ask you to accept the TOS, make sure you accept it. It's just important, otherwise you won't be able to use it. So let's just start with a basic um, request. So let's insert another part here and let's say kill the player when they touch this part okay and we're going to press enter and it's going to load away you can always dock this here so let's dock that over there you can also put it on the side for now i'm just going to have it here oh my god and keep it nice and size and as you can see created kill script player and it has attached the script for us which is super convenient obviously with your code you can copy it you can also give it a thumbs up a thumbs down i'll give it a thumbs up and you can also regenerate it if you want to. Now keep in mind when you regenerate it, it does not delete the script it has inserted, okay? Um, so as you can see, yeah. So if you need to insert the script, you do need to be selecting that part. So be aware if you do want the AI to act within certain parts inside of your studio, make sure that you have it selected, okay? Now let's ask the AI to do something more specific. So as you know, there is an AI inside of Roblox Studio that can generate materials, okay? So let's say, Create, oopsies, I create a lava block that is very hot. And let's press enter and wait for it to load. Okay, it's taking some time here. Okay, and it hasn't got it exactly. So create a lava block material. So once again, being really specific in your prompts is a super important recipe is a super important component for success and as you can see here it is creating it so this can take a while as it has to use another ai to do it let's give it some time um and, and once again it is since it is in beta feature it may be slightly delayed and then we can click on the one we like um let's make sure i'm clicking my yep there we go um i like this one so let's click on that and then we can change around with it and let's see, will our AI have made this work? So we're going to hop in here, and it's loading. And then here we go over to the part, 
and it kills us. Fantastic. So if you have any questions about the assistant, feel free to join our Discord, which is going to be linked down below. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful night, and bye-bye.